Thanks for joining us on the John Madola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Well, uh, every so often, we get a guy who was pretty good back in the day, and, and this guy was a professional baseball player. Let's uh, check in with Kevin Grabowski, a Bishop Hoban graduate, Wilkes University grad, and of course, uh, played with the Atlanta Braves. Well, Kevin, uh, uh, some recent news about you. You're going to be coaching. Uh, tell us about what's going on with you. Yes, I recently took a uh, pitching coaching position with the uh, Washington Wild Things. Um, they're an independent team uh, in the Frontier League, and we're based out of Washington, Pennsylvania. Well, you're located in uh, in Western PA, and uh, that's where you've been calling home. Uh, tell us about uh, some other things that have been going on over the years. I know you had mentioned to me that uh, you're coaching some high school uh, baseball as well over the last few years. Yeah, after I retired in 2009, uh, you know, I took a year off, and then I Kind of got that itch to get back, uh, back, get back out there and, and coach and some, help some kids out. So I, I, you know, I volunteered at the local high school here, and then I got a call to be a, a head coach at a, at another high school uh, in Western Pennsylvania. So, you know, I jumped at that at that uh, opportunity, and you know, co- you know, coached for about three years, and then when the Wild Things called this this fall, this past fall, um, you know, I decided to uh, get back into the game and. Uh, you know, try to help out some of the kids uh, to get them to the next level. Well, some good athletes uh, from your hometown, Plains, that's for sure. Some great baseball players, and, and more than that. And of course, uh, you had a family athletics growing up. Uh, you know, always playing, uh, always backyard stuff. And uh, and tell us about your experience there in Plains. Yeah, I think that's what's missing. Uh, I, I think in today's game, uh, you know, I know growing up, you know, we we. Um, you know, every day we were playing baseball in the summer. You know, we'd get up and there'd be about 15 or 20 kids uh, up in the schoolyard there on Maffet Street, and we'd all get together about 9 a.m. and we'd probably play baseball, uh, tennis ball from you know 9 a.m. till till our parents got home at five o'clock when it was dinner time. So it was it was kind of like nonstop baseball. And then if we weren't playing baseball, we were playing pickup basketball. Um, you know, myself and you know my buddies, my brother. I think uh, I think that's what uh, got me to the level I I, I was at, I'm at today. Um, you know, just playing with a lot of older guys and, and and you know, learning the game. And you know, I think that's a little bit what's lacking in in, in today's youth. I think today uh, these kids are too much in front of the Xbox and the Wii and, and stuff like that, and they're not getting out and getting that exercise and, and keeping their body moving. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a different world, that's for sure. I remember uh, always playing some backyard basketball or, or or wiffle ball or doing something, and things have really changed so much. But uh, you know, are, are still producing some good student athletes. It's just a lot different than it was. And for you now, uh, coaching here uh, with the Washington Wild thing, tell us about the type of players that you're going to have and, and players that you're going to develop. Well, we. Um you know, mo- most of the players that we get are uh, guys that uh, have played in affiliated baseball and and either been released or, or you know or uh, demoted. So our goal is to get some of these guys back into affiliated baseball. Um, we also do have a, a draft for uh, college kids who were not drafted in the major league baseball uh, uh, summer draft. So those guys are eligible for our draft. So um, you know. You kind of get the best of 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 what's left, and uh, you know, our goal is to develop these kids and and to get these guys uh, to to sign with an affiliated team. Um, and you know, along the along the way, we you know we have to you know we have to win games. So you know, it's kind of tough. But when a team comes calling and they and they want one of our players, you know, uh, that's kind of a a plus for us, and then it gets us. Uh, recognize that you know we did our job to get those guys back to associated mall. Talking with Kevin Grabowski here on the John Madola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Well, Kevin, let's go back to high school. Talk about your career there uh, on the baseball field and the basketball court. Uh, what your experience was like at Hoban and, and some of the coaches and the players and the memories that you take from that. Well, coming up through. Uh you know, I, I always went to, you know, public schools, and then uh, I went to uh, decide to go to Bishop Hoban uh, for high school. And uh, it was a little different, you know, going to a, a Catholic school. But that was a great – I had a great education. Uh, you know, I played uh, high school basketball uh, for Coach uh, Chet Hine and then uh, 
also played baseball for uh, Jim Maloney and uh, Rob Creeley. So, uh, you know, I had a great, you know, a great time there, and uh, you know, a lot of great memories. Um, you know, we had we had a state state semifinal team, I believe, my sophomore year. So, you know, we had we had a, always had good programs there uh, at Bishop Hogan. And then, of course, you you go on to Wilkes University and and some more good teams, good players, good coaching, and and some fond memories. That's for sure to uh, to be a colonel. Oh yeah, um, you know when I got to Wilkes, uh, you know we had, we had the, it was an older team uh, at first, and you know I didn't get a lot of playing time my freshman year, but I do remember my first uh, my first college start was against Bucknell, and I think the night before, I believe we got about twelve. 12 inches of snow, and I was like, there's no way we're going to play this game. But I didn't realize that Bucknell had an all-turf field. So uh, by the time we got there on Saturday, the snow was all gone. You know, that was one of my – that was my first college start. And, you know, I think from then on, uh, you know, everything took off. Um, you know, I had some great coaching there. Um, you know, Bob DeLiva was an ex-professional player. Um, Jerry Babbitt uh, helped me a lot in pitching. And uh, Coach Joe Fullick, uh, you know, he taught me not only the game of baseball, but uh, life in general, um, you know. And I still stay in contact with a lot of those guys. Um, you know, we kind of reminisce about uh, our 1994 team, which uh, won the MAC championship that year. You know, we beat uh, Allentown in, in the uh, MAC finals, um, a game that was actually played in Hilldale because uh, uh, the field in Harrisburg was flooded. So, we played. Uh, we played up in Hilldale, and we beat uh, Allentown. I believe they were number three in the nation at the time, in a best of three. So uh, you know we were MAC champs. But the only downfall back then was you know we uh, there was no automatic bid to the to the MAC. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, to the NCAA playoffs. So we uh, we kind of got denied there and had to had to settle for an ECAC bid. Um, you know we were kind of disappointed because knowing that we beat the you know, number three team in the nation, and, you know, we didn't get the uh, automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Kevin, uh, after Wilkes University, tell us about, you know, how things worked out for you and, and what you were able to do to finally, you know, you ended up with the Atlanta Braves. But, but tell us about the road that, that took a while to get there, but you just stayed the course and, and did what you had to do. Yeah, well, I was, um, you know, coming out of Wilkes, I was uh, I was actually drafted my junior year by Cincinnati, and uh, you know I, I turned them down because I kind of wanted to go back and uh, you know get my degree and finish school. So I did that, and uh, my senior year I was uh, drafted uh, by Seattle, and uh, I signed and I went out to play in the uh, Northwest League. It was my first uh, first professional action. So I spent six years in the minor league system with the uh, with the Mariners before uh, being traded to. Um, the Atlanta Braves, and then when I went to Atlanta, uh, my first uh, spring training with them, uh, I, I really opened a lot of eyes, and, uh, you know, my career took off from them, and, uh, you know, I was, it was great, you know, uh, all the hard work that I put in for the, you know, the six years in the minor league system with Seattle, and, you know, it all, I, I got to prove myself in Atlanta, uh, you know, with all that hard work that I've done well, Kevin, tell us about the the Atlanta Braves organization and uh, how things really took off uh, with the Braves. Well, coming into uh, coming into Atlanta, you know, I was a little nervous at first. Uh, you know, playing playing beside some of the guys that I actually grew up, uh, you know, idolizing as, as a kid. You know, the you know, Greg Maddox and the Tom Glavin, and the Smoltz and uh, Chipper Jones. So, you know, going in there for my first big league camp, I was a little nervous at first, but. Uh, you know, I kind of found found my home out there in the bullpen. You know, talking to the guys and, and kind of learning a lot about the game. And uh, you know, they taught me a lot. And you know, I, I owe a lot to those guys. And you know, my my career kind of took off. Right, you know, as soon as I got there. Well, tell us about Bobby Cox and and you know the type of guy that he was, and and you know your pitching coach, and and how things really worked out for you, and what they saw in you, and what they wanted to get out of you. Well, at, at first, you know, I was, uh, you know, I was kind of in awe playing for Bobby. Um, you know, I, I've heard a lot of stories about him. You know, how, how great of a manager it was. But it, it wasn't until I started to play for him that I, I really realized that, you know, this guy, this guy's a class act. You know, he treats, 
he treats everybody on that roster the same, whether you're a 15 year veteran or a, a rookie. You know, he treated everybody with the with the same amount of respect, and you know that that showed a lot. Um, you know, and I mean, I, I think I think by the way he taught the, his players and and how they respected him, it just reflected a lot in the success that the Braves have had over the years. Um, you know, and then and at that time, you know, we had the run of, of uh, you know, all those division championships in a row, and then we finished it off with 15 uh, uh, National League East uh, pennants. Talking with Kevin Grabowski here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Well, Kevin, you're going to be coaching now with the, the Washington Wild thing, uh, and from here, do uh, you have any bigger goals that you, you'd like to get to the highest level in coaching, or are you just going to see how it goes? I know you have a couple of young kids. Yeah, I, I'm going to, uh, you know, it's kind of, this is kind of a feel-me-out year. Um, you know, I, I kind of want to see how this is going to play out. Um, you know, my goal um, is to teach these kids uh, everything that I've been taught over the years. Um, you know, I've, I've always done a good job, uh, you know, teaching the young kids. Um, you know, I've coached my son's uh, baseball teams here. And, uh, you know, I kind of want to, move up to the older uh the older kids and try to teach them uh the game of baseball and try to get them to the next level so i'm you know i'm really looking forward to uh you know getting this started and you know hopefully this weather will break here so we can get out on the field soon and uh you know i could get these guys uh get these guys going and hopefully uh you know hopefully they'll succeed and uh you know move on to the next level how often do you get back to the to the Wilkes-Barre area to check out some family and and catch up on some good old times, maybe with some friends or coaches? It's a lot tougher uh, these days, you know, to get back east, uh, you know, just with the with the coaching and, and the you know the kids' activities that I have. But uh, you know, I try to get back for the holidays as much as I could, and uh, you know, I stay in contact with a lot of those guys. Uh, you know, especially especially the coaches at Wilkes. You know, we stay in a lot of contact. Um, you know, they tell they tell me what's going on, and uh, you know they they kind of tell me you know how I should do uh, do certain things. You know, I'm always uh, you know in the game of baseball, you, you you can always learn something each and every day. So you know, guys that say that they know it all are are they're 100 percent wrong because you know it doesn't matter who you're talking to, you always learn something new every day. And you know, just staying in touch, you know, with the with the coach Fork or coach Babbitt, so, uh, you know, those guys. Uh, it taught me a lot uh, about the game and, and, and about the game of life. So, uh, you know, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully we could get together soon. Uh, you know, you know, this year at Wilkes, we had, uh, we're, we celebrating our, our 20th, uh, anniversary of the, of the Mac championship. So, uh, something I'd like to do is, you know, get the, get the group of guys back together so we could, uh, you know, reminisce about, uh, 1994 again. Well, sounds good, Kevin. It's always great to, to check in with some guys that have done some great stuff, and obviously you're continuing to do some great stuff. We wish you well with the Washington Wild thing, and uh, uh, enjoy your family, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back in northeastern Pennsylvania soon. Thanks for having me, John. All right, that's Kevin Grabowski here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.